Hey guys, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I decorated my front entry to my apartment. All of this stuff is extremely renter friendly, so do not worry. This will not hurt you getting your deposit back. I got you guys. This is gonna be a really short and sweet video. So the first thing that I got was this faux wreath. Now I usually try to get authentic plants, but wreaths kind of just have a ticking timeline. So I figured, you know, let me find a wreath that works all the time. When you're renting an apartment, you don't wanna hammer into your door. And I also don't like those over the door hangers. I personally find those not that attractive looking. I've never found an over the door hanger that lends to having a nice, smooth, easy opening of your front door. So what I ended up using was these command strip hooks. They're really affordable. All I did was put it on the door and that was it. It was so easy to put on. Actually, the first time I put it on, I realized, oh, you know what? I should put my wreath on the hook so I know exactly how to frame it. So put your wreath on the hook before you stick the hook onto your door because otherwise you're gonna make a mistake like I did. I had to use the second command strip on there, but it was super easy to fix. So this wreath I got from Amazon, it's super inexpensive, but I think it's really beautiful and it doesn't look that faux to me, you know? Um, I really felt like just this elevated my door so nicely and we do have a brown door so i just felt like the green i don't know kind of ties in like a little bit of a nature boho theme you know i really like greens and browns <laughs> and then the next thing that we got was this cute really cute custom front door mat so mike actually gave me this next design tip which was finding an appropriate length for your door now our door for whatever reason our entryway is kind of big so all the standard size doormats just made it feel that much smaller and cramped so this custom doormat we got from etsy i think it was around 60 bucks but this is the exact price, but it's super high quality, really cute. I think it adds a really nice element that, I don't know, just makes it that much more personalized and feels like it's our home. And this was the biggest size that they came in and it was perfect. It frames our door so nicely. So again, if you have a bigger doorway, I would definitely suggest getting a bigger doormat. I also suggest getting a doormat that's not gonna look bad once you use it. I see a lot of like light lighter doormats out there and I feel like that's just gonna get so dirty so quick so unless you're really good about cleaning your doormats I would suggest finding something that's a little low maintenance and I think that this material of this doormat is perfect the next thing that we did is we got a planter it really just depends where you live and kind of do you trust your neighbors sort of element I definitely trust my neighbors I don't think I hope not I don't think anybody is gonna steal my planter I don't really see that vibe the last building I lived in in this apartment complex my neighbor had a planter outside their door and it was there the whole time nothing ever happened to it I remember thinking that's really cute I'm gonna do that next time so I got this planter from my local nursery and I got the plant from my local nursery too so this plant is actually a cat palm I just love how it looks and I think that it's a fairly inexpensive plant like I think we only paid $20 for it that size the good thing about it too is that it doesn't have any toxicity as far as I know to cats or dogs I know it's outside but I just don't want to take any chances you know and we did get this plant stand that I did get from Amazon. I just felt like adding it add, added that really nice level of dimension because you have something that's flush with the floor of the doormat. You have something high up, which is your wreath. And I think that adding this plant on the stand added like a middle level. I think that's really pleasing to the eye, at least in my opinion. And we also added a ring doorbell to our peephole. First of all, I didn't even know ring made security cameras for apartments. So this goes specifically through the peephole. It's pretty easy to install and take out as well. For me personally, I think that it adds a nice level of security in my house. Hey, next <laughs> Um, but really for me, it's more of a comfort thing and I think it's really cute too. A lot of times I don't hear when people are at my door. It's a really nice touch too and now when someone knocks on my door, I also get notified too, which I like a lot. So yeah, that's how I dressed up my front entryway at my apartment. It's super simple, easy. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and found it inspirational and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I always genuinely appreciate it. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click above Dexter right here and you can watch some of my other home videos which are linked right here. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.